showed that Trump was maintaining his, his lead. Uh, and well, I think he even bumped up two points in that poll. Look, you and the press are so infatuated with Trump I'm that just, you, you, you I'm stop. Just trying to, you look I'm just at the trying top to figure line. it out. You look, you, no, 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 you're trying to promote it, Bill. And, mm. and it really is, the voters are beginning to see it. In Iowa, they see it. The Des Moines Register knows their state. They know how to poll them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you. And joining us right now, we also welcome John Sununu, former governor of New Hampshire, former chief of staff to President George H.W. Bush and author of The Quiet Man, which is all about uh, the former president. Hello, Governor. How are you, sir? How are you today? Good, good, How good. All right, so that was uh, earlier today. Um, do you believe that that's a Fox thing, or do you believe it's the whole media that's uh, trying to, uh, shall we say, trump up Trump? Look, the news today should be Cruz pulling 10 points ahead of Trump in the Des Moines Register poll. And, and virtually all the media wants to talk about Trump uh, staying even or picking up a few points on the national polls. The, the, the action is going to start in Iowa. It'll then go to New Hampshire. That's where they should be looking. Why are they giving focus to everything except what Cruz did in Iowa. Well, now, I'm, no. not, I'm not promoting Cruz. I'm not supporting Ted Cruz. I'm not a great fan of his. But at least give the guy credit where credit is due when it's due, instead of clogging up your airways with a different story on Trump. Well, why? again, I'll ask you, do you think that this is the home media or just Fox? And no matter what your answer to that one is, the next question is why? I think it's the whole media, and I think it's because they are so uh, locked into worrying about their ratings, and I think they've decided they get ratings up when they put the obnoxious statements of Donald Trump on first. Well, all right. I mean, that, you know, that, that, there's a theory there. There certainly is a theory, because if you look nationally, I mean, for the first time, I think the first time, uh, uh, you know, Trump did pass 40%. In the Monmouth National Poll, and and, is, and and Cruz is his nearest competitor at 14. Now I know the national polls don't mean nearly as much as the state polls at this. Yeah, but point. it's 31-21 Cruz in Iowa. I, yeah. That's and 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 that's the evidence that things when people start paying attention just before or as it closes in on the time for them to vote, they're starting to separate from Trump. That's the news story, Steve. Yeah, no, I, all right, so, so let's talk about uh, what you think is going to happen uh, tomorrow uh, at, uh, on the debate, of course, CNN, and uh, we know that uh, we know the nine people up on the stage, and we know that uh, someone like Mike Huckabee is now off the main stage. So what, what is it going to be? I mean, is it going to be all of them attacking Trump, going after his Muslim uh, proposal? Is Trump going to play a cool? Is he going to fire back? What do you see happening? And how does Cruz, who is in the position you just uh, uh, explained so eloquently, how does he handle himself? Well, I think on the whole, it's going to be a relatively cool debate. I think the candidates, uh, at least the smart candidates, are beginning to understand that the voters are beginning to pay attention to philosophy and position. I think the second thing that's beginning to sink in with voters, and I, I think you'll see the candidates playing to it somewhat, is that if, if, if people want to change policy, they've got to change the president and hold the Senate for Republicans. And so you've got to nominate someone that is not going to blow this election completely. Uh, when you look at the numbers, somebody's going to stand back and say, well, Trump's got 30, 40 percent of 32 percent. That's 10, 12 percent maximum. That means 88 to 90 percent of the country is against him because there's no, there's no middle ground with Trump. You're either for him or against him. And so Trump may love his numbers, but the reason people that want to change policy are concerned, and unfortunately you get labeled as the establishment if you want to change policy, uh, are, are beginning to understand that you've got to win elections in order to do that, not just talk about winning elections. All right, and I think that is all seeping in and is shaping this debate tomorrow and the election for the next few weeks. And let's look at New Hampshire, uh, because you're on the ground in New Hampshire, obviously. Uh, what do you see happening there? Well, I, I see the beginning of what's starting to happen in Iowa here, but, I, but we're usually a week after, two weeks after, so a lot of this, that what, what's occurring in Iowa, I think will begin to occur here in a week or two. All right, so, so at this point, and it's way early, I understand that. Who's going to win the nomination? 
I don't know. Who will uh, uh, who will not win it of the of the will Trump not win it? Can you say that with certainty? I really think Trump will not win it. I think when when people start applying the commander in chief test, uh, he really fails miserably on that. I think at some point people will go back to what I call the, look the angry folks that are supporting Trump now are opposing people because they have won before. Right. Think about that. All right, They're good. opposing people because they have succeeded in the political arena. Governor, At some point, that's got to come back, and, and they've got to start Go doing things constructively. Governor, have a Merry Christmas. We'll speak to you soon. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Bill Donahue, speaking of Christmas, is next. We'll talk about Christmas. Don't go away.